Today, we're going to dissect a meme, everyone's favorite internet activity. It's a joyless goal, but one that could save the world. This meme is presented often by a person who would classify themselves as liberal, and I'm using it as an example of even liberals sometimes don't know science. So this one's for you, conservatives. So let's break down the meme into what it's trying to prove, what it is right about, and what it is wrong about. Let's just get into it. When reading through this meme, at first it seems like a mic drop in leaves no prisoners, anti-Fox News and conservative talking points classic that you can fire and forget at your enemies all night long. This meme works because Fox News has, as a common talking point, the idea that solar panels just don't work in the cold. No. They have this new Green Deal or whatever, okay, mm -hmm. where they want to eliminate all oil and gas in 10 years. Yeah, 10 if years. If you're in the polar vortex, how are you going to stay warm? With solar panels? Are you going to drive a Prius through a foot of snow? <laughs> Absolutely not. Then it goes on to use the coldest place we inhabit, space. A thing humans created with solar panels to power it, the International Space Station, and says, duh, it works, buddy. Shut your face, dummy. So far, pretty good. Fox News does say these things, and the International Space Station is in space using solar panels. So lots of good facts there. The problem is that space isn't cold. I know, I know. You've seen the movies where people freeze, objects freeze, lots of things just freeze in space as soon as they get out into it, of course. But space isn't actually cold. Not cold in the way that, say, Antarctica is cold. If you go outside naked in Antarctica, you'll freeze to death pretty quickly. All of the heat in your body will escape into the much colder environment around you, and that'll be that. And that's what we conceive of as cold. On Earth, there are three ways that things transfer heat, and always from hotter items to colder items. It's through thermal convection, thermal conduction, and thermal radiation. The thermal part meaning heat, of course. Thermal convection is best understood with hot air rises, cold air sinks. This creates a circular flow around the heat source and is the principle behind, say, how a convection oven works. Thermal conduction is when energy is transferred by touch. It's why you want to let your pizza cool down before just grabbing a slice and eating it when it just got out of the oven. I know I've done that. It's hot, really hot. And it's going to transfer that heat to your mouth because you couldn't wait to eat it because it's so delicious. High energy molecules, hot pizza molecules collide with colder tongue molecules and it makes those tongue molecules start moving faster from the energy transferred, cooling down the pizza, but burning your tongue. Ouch. Neither of these can happen in a vacuum, as they rely on molecules moving about. Vacuums, like space, are decidedly lacking in molecules just hanging about. It's a lot of emptiness. All that emptiness between planets and stars make it so the only real way to transfer heat is through thermal radiation. And this just doesn't happen very well from a creature like a human or objects like solar panels. Being in space, these solar panels aren't cold. In fact, they absorb so much energy through radiation because there's nothing like atmospheres, clouds, trees, or buildings getting in the way that they are hot. So hot that liquid ammonia-based liquid cooling systems were designed to just keep them functioning. We're talking well beyond pizza hot. There are many other places this meme could have used, Antarctica, my yard right now, and shown solar panels not only working, but thriving in cold temperatures, since they tend to operate better in colder environments versus hotter environments even here on Earth. But instead, Someone wanted to hammer the idea over the head of conservatives by proving they don't understand science. And yowzes. That bit them in the ass for sure. So stop using this meme. You're making the rest of the liberal world look dumb. Thank you.